Well, hey, good morning, guys. We're getting out to try and find some sheds today. I got my good friend Justin with me today. Hopefully, he's going to be a good luck charm. We only got a couple hours, so it'll be kind of a quick trip, but we've got some clouds today. It was really hot the last couple days. Well, not really hot, but it was about 80. And so, thankfully, we got a little cloud cover. Um, all the undergrowth is starting to go, so it's going to be tough to find sheds probably after really the next week or so. So, anyway, wish us luck, and hopefully, we'll get some stuff on video for you guys. Hey guys, I know you won't be able to see this very well, it's just so dark up in here, but this is the first time I've hiked this ridge we're on today, and I just found this cool little seep. I don't know if you can hear the water trickling down, but that's cool. See the water coming down right here. And a few tracks on the edge of it, not as many as I would think. Of course, it's still early in the year, so it's not real hot and dry yet, but as it starts getting hotter and drier, I imagine this will get a lot more traffic as animals are trying to get some water. Well, it looks like we might get wet here in a minute. And I did not bring my raincoat. I left it in the van, or excuse me, in the truck. So hopefully it doesn't dump on us too hard. So I'm going to walk down to this patch of trees here that you see oh about right in there check through all that and then come back up and work this little wash all the way up to the top and then get on that opposite face over there kind of below those cliffs and work that all the way around over there and then by then it'll probably be about time to head back to the truck so so far we haven't found any sheds Uh, it might be a blow snake. Hey guys, here's a little tiny. Can't tell if it's a rattlesnake. Nope, it's a rattlesnake. He's got a little tiny rattle on him. How big is it? He's tiny. See him working his way up, guys. Sorry, I was talking to Justin, but you can just barely see the end of his rattle forming on the back there. But that's one of the reasons I was glad that it wasn't as hot today, because I knew if the sun was out, these rattlesnakes this time year would be out sunning themselves on these south-facing slopes. I'm not real scared of snakes, but I don't like rattlesnakes at all. But he's trying to get away from me, and he's tiny, so I'm going to leave him alone. Well, guys, no sheds today. Here's the standard minute on the mountain balloon find. So Justin did find a, a bigger rattlesnake, but it kind of got underneath the rock where we couldn't really film it. I was going to try and get that on video for you guys. So, so it looks like I might have the walk of shame back to the truck and shed or consequences when I get home but the rain stopped it's a nice day out with a good friend so we're having yeah. a good time so we got wet for a little bit yeah got wet a little bit <laughs> so but thanks for joining us today we'll pick this balloon up and leave the mountain a little better than we found it and see you guys later well hey guys if you watched the earlier part of the video you know that we got skunked today Justin and I did not find any sheds so it's time for Shedder Consequences. This will be round number two. So I have the hat here with all the different things in it. And my daughter Jordan is going to come up and draw one. And we'll see what we get. So come on, Jordan. Okay, don't look. All right, that's one. Wear a Ridgeline shirt for a whole day. Oh man, it's wear a Ridgeline shirt for a whole day. There's no way I can do that today. Uh, we have camp today. We have a scrimmage against several other teams, so that's not going to happen. So I guess I will do that tomorrow. I'll wear a Ridgeline shirt all day tomorrow, and I'll, I'll get a little film of me in that just so you know that I really did it. So that's the one we drew for today. Uh, thanks for watching today. I'm going to do the Minute on the Mountain next, and appreciate you guys coming along. Hey guys, we're going to do today's Minute on the Mountain from the house today. And for the next several videos, actually, I'm going to talk about the parable of the prodigal son because there's just so much there that I wouldn't do it justice to do it in one, and I, I don't want it to be a 10-minute video. I promise you guys to keep it to just a couple minutes. So uh, if you look at that, that's in Luke chapter 15. I encourage you to read it. In fact, I'll probably put a slide up with the full uh, passage on so you guys can read it for yourselves. But Basically, a, a father has two sons, and the younger son wants to take his inheritance and go. And that was out of character for the younger son to get their inheritance first. But 
the father allows him to do it. Um, he squanders it, kind of with wild living. Uh, he comes back. There's restoration of the relationship. I mean, it, it's an awesome story. And we'll dig into more of the specifics on the restoration part in another video. But what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that the son never asked the father for his input on this decision. And so, you know, this parable is about God, our father, and us, and our relationship with him. And so I think there's instruction there that when you don't seek the father's will, we tend to make bad, bad choices. And the other thing that I think we see is I'm sure the father knew that the younger son was going to squander the money. I'm sure the father knew this wasn't a wise decision, but he let his son go through with it anyway. I think that's also instructive because it shows us that sometimes God lets us make our own choices even though the consequences are going to be painful. You know, God doesn't force us to obey him. He doesn't force us to make good choices. Uh, and so I'm really excited to dig into this parable with you guys over the next couple of videos uh, as we look at the rest of it and kind of the end of the story. Uh, but those are just a couple of thoughts I had today that, number one, we should be seeking God's guidance and his wisdom for decisions we make. And number two, as scary as it is, sometimes God leaves us to our own devices and lets us make our own decisions, and then we have to pay the consequences for those. So thanks for joining along today. Uh, looking forward to the next video with you guys, and hope you have a great rest of your day.